A few years ago, an interesting incident happened with my mother-in-law. It was at a time when I had just gotten my degree and was looking for a job. I received an invitation for an interview from the head of the department, Eliana. However, from the very beginning, I did not like her manner of communication very much. It was clear to me that I was dealing with a pushy woman. Throughout the internship, I became more and more convinced that my initial impression was correct. I had even underestimated my future boss's desire for power. Kenneth, if you want to work here, you will do what I say and when I say it. This was her favorite response, despite my attempts to discuss the inconvenient schedule or the constant fixing of reports, she ignored my complaints. The appearance of my boss perfectly matched her image of a strict and authoritative figure, despite the fact that she was already in her 40s. Eliana always looked stunning, impeccably tailored business suits, and invariably high-heeled shoes emphasized her slender figure. She was a distant and unattainable dream, and in her piercing blue eyes, there was not a drop of warmth. A year later, Eliana was promoted and took a position as a lawyer in a well-known company. Frankly speaking, as time passed, I began to miss her very much. Such a woman involuntarily causes admiration, even if she is your boss. On New Year's Eve, my colleagues and I went to a bar for a drink, but in the midst of the fun, I felt lonely. Stepping aside, I thought I was hallucinating. Turning around, I saw Shirley, her beautiful eyes staring back at me, no longer angry. On the contrary, they sparkled with amusement. It was the daughter of my former boss. Our romance began at breakneck speed, and seven months later, we were married. At the wedding, my mother-in-law looked gorgeous, but she was still cold to me. One night, when my wife was on duty at the hospital, I was awakened by the doorbell. I was stunned to see my mother-in-law on the doorstep. She was drunk and upset about something. Ileana, what's wrong? I asked her, honey. It was the first time she called me that. I'm exhausted, completely drained. It became impossible to hide my emotions. When she looked at me, there was no trace of coldness in her eyes. They were like a welcoming sea, inviting me to explore its depths. I saw her slightly open lips and realized that there was no turning back for me. That enchanting night, my snow queen, my dream, my former boss, and now my mother-in-law, became my lover, giving me an unforgettable feeling of warmth. However, I soon made a decision to end it all as I felt ashamed in front of my wife. When I confessed to my mother-in-law, she strongly opposed my decision, saying that she had no other man in her life. She threatened that she would tell everything to her daughter. If we did not continue our secret meetings, she would make me guilty of everything. She was just blackmailing me. I am at a loss. What to do? Please, if someone has faced a similar situation, give advice on how to cope with this predicament and get rid of the influence of my mother-in-law.